Um, what else? Reaction time, offense, defense, how quick do you react on the fast break? Where are you supposed to be on the fast break? When you rebound, do you, can you rebound it out and find your outlets fast? Just thinking about all the things in the game where you have to react offense to defense or you know when the, when the play changes some kind of way, how fast do you react? How fast does your, your team react? Um, this is all just to grow and understand the game a little bit more, understand yourself, understand uh, the team that you're playing on. And then one of my big things is hustle. Hustle plays. Anytime there's a loose ball, I don't care if it's clear, <laughs> it's clear as day that the other girl probably will get it or the other guy will probably get it. Do you attempt? Do you hustle? Do you try to go get that ball? How many times is that ball just right there by the fingertip and you didn't get it? Focus on how can I have won that loose ball or even a, t a, a rebound? How can I have, you know, tipped that, that rebound to my player's area, my teammate's area. I did that a lot in college where I, I was small, played under the basket. I really sometimes couldn't grab a lot of ball uh, rebounds, so I would tip it to the area my teammate was in because I knew, I just knew the play. I knew, I knew um, uh, not the play, but I knew uh, the court and I knew I was aware of where they were. So that is mentally sharp. That's number three. Sorry, I'm, I'm rambling. Got a lot on the mind. Uh, number four is a big one. Throughout this COVID-19 and you're at home, you have got to have a steady schedule. Continue to have yourself uh, to, to, to be productive and efficient in your day, but you have to have a schedule if you're gonna eat healthy, if you're gonna work out, if you are going to stay mentally sharp. Have a schedule of the time. What time are you doing these things and how long are you doing that? How long are you gonna watch film? What are you going to watch? Have that in a daily plan. Maybe you make it every night. Maybe you make, um, uh, you know, let's say on Sunday, you make your plan for the whole week. That's great. Have some kind of set system and a plan and a schedule that you gotta hit every day and there's no time wasted on figuring it out at the moment. Last is, number five is start. When you get off this live and you get off this video from watching this video, I want you to start with your plan. It's Friday, go ahead and make that plan for tomorrow. Go ahead and get a nice workout tomorrow morning. Sunday, I want you to either make your plan for Monday or make your plan for the whole week. I would do it for the whole week just so that I actually have a plan and if I wanna change some things, I already have uh, a system that I can change it from and I'm not coming off, off the dome. So, um, let's see, along with number five, so start now, start tomorrow, but pick up the phone, and call, do not text, don't snap them. I want you to call two buddies that you respect, you respect their, their work ethic, you know that they're probably on the same stuff you are, trying to get better for the next three months, trying to get better now and show up differently in, in the next six months. Have those buddies of yours that are on your team, school teams, AAU teams, or a good friend that's actually great at accountability have them be your account accountability partner. So these are the, are, are the girls, uh, your friends or whoever that are going to, maybe they'll make sure that you get up at five if you say you're gonna get up at five. They'll text you and say, hey, did you get up at five? Or they'll call you, or they're gonna work out with you. That's the best. Somebody to do this thing with, you have accountability, right? So I want you to find two accountability partners. Um, they can be family, but I would choose people that are most likely gonna join in with you on this and um, they have the same goals and they can help. Now, you can have three, you can have four accountab accountability partners. You can have more, at least two, okay? Hey, that's all I got for you guys. Um, oh, a couple more things. The key to this is you have to have accountability for yourself and help, help somebody, help yourself have accountability by bringing other people into it to check you to check you if you did your workout, to check you on Friday if you did your sprints like you said you were before the weekend, right? Um, you have to be consistent. Make sure your schedule is something that you can actually uh, actually obtain on a daily day, day to day basis, sorry, and a week to week basis. Make sure you can accomplish those things. And if it's too easy, keep adding to it every week. Um, accountability is consistency and then make sure you're goal and oriented so within the next three 
three uh, months or to the next six months, I want you to think ahead and think about where you want to be as a player on and off the court person, where you should be and where you need to be for your team. Where do you need to be in the next three months, next six months? to be giving your coach that value that you want to give and that they need for the team. Where do you want to be? My name is Coach E, Coach Ernie Williams, live from Austin, Texas, and I see you when I see you. Peace.